Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. You know, today I just wanna go through some of the fantastic announcements we're seeing out of CES 2018. From, you know, what I would call our normal tech companies, Google, Samsung, and you know, some of our light manufacturers, actually Philips had a big announcement here too. So let's go through that right now. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is our friends at Google. Now, Google has gone ahead and they have partnered with 15 companies to bring you their Google Assistant in all kinds of devices. So there's a ton of companies that I could sit here and name, I'm not gonna do that. But, you know, what it's showing basically is they want to put Google Assistant on everything and it's going to be everything from you know the Amazon show like devices where you're going to actually have a screen in front of you to show you you know the content you're asking for through Google Assistant to speakers and, and what we're normally used to with the Google Home device but just in other maker speakers. Uh, and finally you know the biggest thing that I love to see here is it's getting Google Assistant into TVs and, and I think the biggest announcement here for Google is actually saying LG is going to put the Google Assistant in their next generation of TVs. So we're going to see that and, and I think what that says is it's really heating up the war between Google and Amazon for these voice uh, enabled assistant devices so you know it's great to see and I just wanted to tell you that all of these different companies are jumping on the Google bandwagon they're partnered and everyone's working together here to bring you some great devices so the next thing I want to talk to you about you know it's a little less of a smart home thing here as far as I'm concerned but it's still pretty good now Samsung of course we know they have the smart things platform that they've been building off of for some time here since they purchased smart things now at CES 2018 here Samsung they announced a number of products everything from a TV that's 146 inches wide or, or in measurement there you know they they showed you how you could do that on your wall and they also showed us some upgrades to the smart things ecosystem so you know what they showed us there was a fridge actually it's an upgraded fridge basically their smart home or smart things fridge here that has better connectivity with your smart things devices and so you're going to be able to control more and more and more with these Samsung products now the other thing that we're seeing from Samsung here is we're seeing the expansion of their voice assistant, their own assistant named Bixby here. So we're starting to see that be integrated into different products, not just their, their phones. So we're seeing that being announced in some of their TVs here. And we're also seeing the Samsung SmartThings app show up on TVs as well. So we're seeing that connectivity grow out into other devices in your home. So I think what you can look forward to from Samsung is the ability to control all of these devices that they've integrated with Samsung SmartThings through you know your TV, your fridge, in places you normally are in your home. So that's great to see. Now finally, and this is one of the most exciting announcements as far as I'm concerned, and it's as simple as this, outdoor smart light bulbs. And you know, in a few of the videos here on Automate Your Life, this was something I was hoping Philips would get into. And you know, I'd heard some rumors of them working on these kinds of things, but you can't ever substantiate rumors like that until they actually come out and announce that they're ready to go. So, and that's what Philips has done. So the first announcement, and this is the most exciting to me, is there will be smart home outdoor bulbs from Philips Hue here in 2018. Now, they also announced a number of upgrades to their software and you know I think a lot of people have spent a lot of time here making making little apps or making you know little scripts and things to be able to sync your Philips Hue color light bulbs to music or movies any form of entertainment and so 
you know, I think Phillips listened and they said, hey, we can do that. Probably we can do that better than everyone else since there are lights. So what they've gone ahead and done here, and this will come kind of mid-2018, they actually do have the capability of syncing their color lights with entertainment here. And so you're going to see what's called Phillips Hue Sync come out here in 2018. And my understanding is that's going to be a free add-on for anyone who already owns the bulbs. Now the last thing that Philips have come out and spoken about here at CES 2018 is the fact that they're going to upgrade their application. And I would say this is a much needed application. They're kind of calling it version 3.0. And you know it's going to offer better controllability of your lights, better setup, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and give you access to a number of other features that we haven't seen in the past here with the Philips Hue application. So you know all around what Philips is doing is they're giving you more lighting options, and of course they're going out and they're making sure that you can use those lighting options to the fullest potential. So that's great to see and I can't wait to see again those outdoor lights. I'm really excited to get those, put those outside my home. Little worried they might get stolen here if they're too expensive, but you know, for me, I want a few of them and I want to be able to utilize them going forward. So there you have it. Now, of course, there's many more announcements going out at CES, CES 2018 here and I'll keep you up to date as there's more and more here coming out over the next week or so. So it's great to see from all these smart home companies or home automation companies coming out improving their products and really taking it to the next level. I'm really excited to see this and I'm, I'm really excited to see lots of these products. So I hope you are too and if you have any comments about you know future products that you'd like to see or if you have anything that you know I've missed here you'd like me to cover and give you some insight into with CES 2018, just let me know in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.